Hey guys, I was going to the feedback.groovefunnels.com site. Basically, this is the, the site where you can leave a request for tutorial training videos. And Robert Rees asked uh, how how to edit the the buttons to be full width on all screens on, across all all devices. So I'll be showing you this today. So I will go through a couple of different layouts, but I want, just want to show you first how you can design your own using an empty container. So um, he was asking how to design a full width button on all devices. So I just pulled in an empty container. This is this one, the first one, which when we click on it, you can see it only has a container on an empty block. So we will pull, pull in a solid button on here. We will just center it here, put the text in the middle, and then now we can edit the button. So the width of the elements depends on the container. So the container width is until here. You can see this gray, uh, sorry, the green outline over here. So let's increase the sizing of the button. So I want the width to be full. So now you can see that the width is the same width as the container. So how to how to make it full width? So this uh, for this one, you would need to go to size. So you can choose the container, you go to sizing, and you choose the width to be full, and the max width as well to be full. So now you can see the the container is full width behind. So as well, the button, as we put to be a full width, according to the container, it is going to the all the borders of the page on the side. So if we resize on every device, it will be full width. Okay, so just to confirm, when you click on the container that holds the button element, if you make, make it full and the max width you change to full, then you will be able to have a button across all the all the page on all devices. Um, I just wanted to quickly go through and show you as well how you can, uh, using the same knowledge that I just showed you, how you can increase the button width to be the same, uh, sorry, sorry, the full width of this container over here. So we have a button and the container is behind it and it is until here, so from here until here. So if we increase the button sizing to be full width, then we choose the container behind it and then if we, we need to see if it has some spacing. In this case it has some uh, 7 pixel padding, we just need to remove it and then as you can see the the container is this blue or the blue part here and then the button is all and basically is full width until the the border of the container. Okay, let's go to the other one. So here we want to increase the sizing of the button to be matching until here. Basically, this is the container that it is uh, on top of. So we just click on the button and then we want to put sizing to be full width. And as you can see, it became full width. Let's do this same thing for the contact form. I just want to see that the this is the container the, the button is in. If we click on the button and click sizing and do full, then it just became a full width button in this container. So guys, this is not only for buttons. You can do this for pictures, you can sorry for the images, you can do this for text, you can do this for for all the elements that you can use here, you can increase the width with the same thing. Basically, you need to see where the container is, you need to increase the container uh, the sizing, and then you increase the element sizing, and then this is how you get the full width element on all screens. That's it, guys. I hope you liked it, and I hope you learned from it. Uh, so, see you in the group. Bye-bye.